If you can't tell, I'm in a bit of planner chaos. <laughs> Hey there planners, today I want to open up this happy mail with you and talk about how it might be related to this item, which I recently broke out and started using again. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, I am super excited to get into some happy mail with you. Before I dive right in, I do wanna say welcome to those of you who are new. We are super excited that you're here here at Planning Annie, we are a community of planner enthusiasts. We love our planners. We love getting things done. We love our tools. We love our journals. We love all our supplies and sharing ideas with each other. If that sounds like something you would enjoy, we hope you will consider subscribing and becoming a permanent part of our community. For the rest of you returning, welcome back. I'm super excited to open some happy mail with you from a shop that is fairly new to me. I'm aware of it. I have been aware of it, but I haven't actually ordered anything. And I also want to talk about how it relates to this item, which I have pulled out. So if you can't tell, I'm in a bit of planner chaos. <laughs> it's just that time of year. It's the time of year where we are on the cusp of fall. We are beginning to think about if you are an, a planner enthusiast, you might be beginning to think about what you want to use next year. And the reason you're doing that is because so many planners are launching. 2024 planners are launching right now. New planners for 2024 with pre-orders. So you kind of have to make decisions early. It's just nuts. It's, it's the time of year where planners can go into a bit of chaos. And even me, knowing that I have a good system for figuring out what planners I need, I still go into a bit of planner chaos. So let me start by talking about what this is. So first of all, this cover is a beautiful cover that I got off Amazon. It is a Hobonichi week size, which is exactly what I have in here. Now I have, I am using this as a wallet and that's why I have all these sticky notes here because this is actually all of my debit cards, credit cards, IDs, you know, insurance cards, all of that stuff. So I'm not gonna show you all of that, but I did want to show you the cover. Look how beautiful, look at this color. It is so beautiful, like this gorgeous mustardy yellow color that I think is just perfect for the end of summer and the beginning of fall. It's just really, really beautiful. This is from a brand called Smart Fee that is on Amazon and is really coming out strong as a rival with Moterm. Um, they come in a lot of different sizes and a pretty good selection of uh, cover materials and colors. I will have this and a few others that I really like linked down in the description box below as well as everything else I talk about listed down in the description box below. So what I have in here is actually a 2023 Hobonichi Weeks Mega this is the sneaker version. If you're not familiar with what that means, it's the soft cover version. I actually purchased this much earlier this year, like at the very beginning of the year, back in January, I wanna say, and thought I would use it, ended up not using it, put it on a shelf. I don't even think I introduced this to you all. <laughs> put it on a shelf and then here in my, um, in my lurking of the Hobonichi 2024 launch, um, and just always, I always fall for the Hobonichi launches because I think they are such beautiful planners. The paper is amazing um, and they really do offer a great, unique product. So um, I pulled it back out. And the way I have been using it is, you guys know, I have, I am just finishing up my great big uh, Erin Condren um, Frankenplanned Summer Planner. And that thing is massive. And I just needed a little something to take on vacation with me through the rest of the summer um, and to be able to easily carry. I also wanted to update my wallet. And so that's what this has ended up being. It's got this great back pocket back here. Um, it's got, let's see, I've got a few stickers and things back here in the back and just a, a little homemade pocket here. Jetstream pin, and this is the the um, limited malt version with the wood grain uh, handle here. And then also I've got a, um, a mild liner, zebra mild liner in there. So the way I'm using this is um, I actually have, because this is my wallet, I have my little tip 
cheat, cheat sheet taped in there. Um, I am using this very simply. Decorated the month and just filled in the month of August, put in a few of our plans, um, very quick reference items, and then I am using the weeks and I've just been using it for a couple of weeks just testing it out and kind of you know events of the day and then to do's over here I had a little packing list for my puppy right here and I'm actually really really enjoying um, this you know the, the petiteness of it so so Sweet Freckle Designs is a shop that I have been interested in for a while. I have known about for a while, but I hadn't actually ordered anything from. So I'm super excited to break this open and share with you what I got. Again, it's related to testing out and playing around with the Hobonichi Weeks and seeing what else is out there that is around this size. And what I ordered were a few things. Let me pull everything out. All right, so I'll start with the big item. This is actually a compact weekly diary planner um, from Sweet Freckled Designs. It is undated and it is in the color Snow White. So it has, let me open up this package so that we can take a look at it. You can see it is very similar to the size of the weeks. It's actually, just a little taller just a little taller you can see there it sticks up just a little bit and it's looks like it is just a little wider so very similar in size to the hobonichi weeks it's got a soft cover it has 52 gsm to moe river paper um, it's undated it has a 3.7 millimeter grid and 320 total pages, which include 13 monthlies, 52 weeklies, and then 185 uh, daily. So very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks Mega. All right, so let's actually look inside. Okay, oh, so very interesting. So it doesn't have any of the intro pages that are in the Hobonichi Weeks, like the like future log type page, um, doesn't have those, doesn't have any, I mean, it just really goes right into the monthlies. I can't decide if I like that or not. I'm not sure yet. I do like that there's no fluff, um, <laughs> but I also kind of like the fluff in the space. So anyway, that's interesting. So here's the monthly layout and you can see not dated, very light grid, and the paper feels great, of course, to Bowie River paper. So 13 monthlies, and then here's the weekly, and there is nothing else on the page except the weekly layout, so no, no additional anything. Um, so very, very minimal design, which means there's a bit more room here. So very interesting. And then after that, it's just grid pages. So yeah, this, I wonder if it would fit in here. Let's see if we can see if it will fit. I was reading that, oh, yep, that they will fit in like, the, they're just, because they are just slightly bigger, they will fit in some planner covers, but not all of them. So that's great. Now it's also will not fit in the clear covers that are um, that are made for Hobonichi Weeks. So I did go ahead and order a sweet freckled design clear cover, which this is the clear cover and it's just got sweet freckled designs and Lauren Phelps designs, which I love both of those companies. And this is really nice. It's will help if you could see it. One thing I can tell you that I like about it already is that it's got this little secretarial pocket in addition to the notebook flap, so that's very nice. Yeah, so, and there's definitely room. I, I picked a version that was roomy, um, and so there's definitely room to grow in there. So I'm really excited about this. I am gonna continue to play around with my uh, 2023 Hobonichi Weeks just to see if it's something that I want to continue to use. It is going to be part of my fall 
uh, lineup. So I guess this is unofficially the first introduction of a planner in my fall lineup. But I am going to continue to use this planner and just kind of learn what layouts I like, how I want to use it, how I don't want to use it, what's useful, um, what is duplicative and what's not, and just kind of play around and figure out how I want to use it with this. And then if I continue to like it, I will pull this out and make this part of my 2024 planner lineup as it makes sense. And that's the other great thing because it's not dated. I can, uh, I can pull it out as I want to use it. I did pick up a couple of other things from the Sweet Freckle Design Shop and mostly stickers. So with the tiny wheel real estate on the page, you really have to be very careful and minimal about the stickers that you use. So I picked up some of these, you guys know I did a whole video about my obsession with tiny icons. I picked up a few of these tiny icons from Sweet Freckle Designs. And you'll see some of them say Caffeine and Paper Co. Some of them say Sweet Freckle Designs on the top. This wasn't, there was a name change for this shop from Caffeine and Paper Co. to Sweet Freckle Designs. Um, and so I'm sure this is just inventory being used up. But um, I tried to pick up some stickers that I knew I was going to use most frequently, like Doctor's Visits and definitely Puppy Paws, lots of Puppy Paws, Grocery Shopping, YouTube Videos, Little Cash for Paydays, things like that. So I got some of those itty bitty icons and I, I like to make these. I have a video about how I make these for myself. I'll leave that link down below, but I also like to buy them because these are on the clear paper and um, I, I, cannot, um, I cannot figure out yet how to make these on clear paper on the transparent sticker paper. So I picked up some of those. I also picked up these. Um, these will be good for covering up the date slots in this planner. And then I really thought that was a beautiful, beautiful font. So I picked up those. And then I also thought that was a beautiful font too. So I've got those as well. So just a few extra goodies um, from Sweet Freckle Designs and the introduction of my first <laughs> fall planner. <laughs> Um, and what is going to be part of my system that I'm kind of playing around with in the background. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little mini haul and uh, getting a first look at one of my fall planners. I'd love to hear uh, your questions and comments down below. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.